cleared the air now, so I didn't make the mistake of marrying you. Mistake? Well, I think the only mistake we made was thinking that we could be happy together. As far as I'm concerned, the wedding is off. Oh, that's fine. That's fine with me. Good. Well, then I'll just call everyone tomorrow. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Are you too crazy? No, I was crazy to think that this was going to work out. Yeah, go ahead. Run away like a coward. You look upset, Renee. Something you want to tell me? Is it about Max? Yes, it's about Max. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Buchanan. Better keep track of that money, sweetheart. We're gonna need every cent of it. Oh, come on. What is this money buying us right at this very minute, huh? What? I'm not kidding, honey. I'm not kidding. We are only one step away from disaster. No. As long as you are recovering, nothing is a disaster. Come in. Larry! Hello, 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 honey. Have a dollar. Have two. Well, th thank you. Thank you. What a... Fine day this is turning out to be. What is it, some kind of uh, fiesta? Si, si, it's a fiesta. Well, I'm sorry. The fiesta's gonna have to stop until you pass a test or two. Here's what to do when you don't find the rainbows in this time. Here's where you go when it looks like the rain won't win. Don't cry. Feel any dizziness? No, I feel okay. fine so good. far. Good, good. All right, I want you to look right at my face. Right, this will help you with your balance. Huh? All right, put your, your hands on my shoulders. That's it. Just right there. Keep looking. Now I want you to just very slowly stand up. That's it. Keep looking. That's right. Good. Feel any dizziness? I want you to let me know, okay? You got it. Okay, all right. Now let go of your hands. Drop your hands. I got you. All right. Okay, now I want you to take a step. Take one step. That's it. That's it. Take another. Okay, okay. You dizzy? Hmm. Yeah? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, all right. Take it easy. I got you. I got you. Relax. Just backwards, right to the bed. Yeah, sit down. You did great. Uh, not real great. Yeah. Well, after that kind of surgery, pretty good. Yep, not bad at all. Hmm. Just tell me one thing. Am I going to be able to make it out of here and get to Megan's wedding? Sweetheart, I don't really see how we can. What about you? You agree with Megan? Oh, Clint, well, let's watch your progress. We'll take it a day at a time. You're being evasive, Larry. I can't operate that way. Darling, Larry's just saying we have to wait and see. No, that won't work for me. One of the last things I said to Megan was that I was... I was going to get to her wedding, and I was going to dance with the bride. I remember when I was in the operating room, I, I re, just before they had me counting backwards, I remember thinking about that, and I told myself to hang on to that thought because it might get me through surgery and back on my feet. Well, it, it got me through surgery, and... Uh, no small feet, either. Uh, well, it got me through surgery, and it's going to get me back on my feet because I am going to... Get back on my feet and get out of here. I'm going to that wedding. No argument. End of, end of discussion. I'm not a coward, and I, I wasn't running. I was simply leaving. It's all the same to me as far as I'm concerned. Well, why should I stay? I mean, we don't have anything else to say to each other, do we? Uh, excuse me. Yes, you do have a lot to say to each other. Listen, why don't we all just sit down, and we can talk about this intelligently and quietly. Hey, Jake, Court's right. Why don't you just take it easy? You know, it really is the best way to handle it, Megan. Really easy. I think this party is over. I'm going to take off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, go I'm going to go with I'm going to check stuff in the kitchen. So can we stop the sparring, please? Yeah, uh, Cord's right. I mean, he and I have been through this already. We can't understand. I know that you and Cord are just trying to help, but it's all right, really... Well, look, why don't we just count to ten, all right? Twenty might be a little better. 
seen Dory and Lord, her office said she might be headed this direction. Well, I don't know. She could have come by. There's a clothes sign on the door. She might go somewhere else. Did you read this rotten story here? You uh, read this? I, I, I look at the pictures. Yeah, well, look at these two pictures. Let me tell you something. I get my hands on her. You're liable to have to perform last rites. Well, that's not my thing anymore. You know what I mean? Listen, it's just an article. Take it easy. I don't know if I can. Do me a favor. If you see her, will you call me at the Buchanan Palace Hotel? You got it, Bo. Bo! Yeah. Don't let your anger get in the way of your good sense. I will try. Look, I've counted all I can. Same here. It's obviously not going to help. Folks, friends, acquaintances. Look, you look at it. If you know what's good for you, you just get the heck out of here. Well, I never do. That's my biggest problem. I can name a few more. Well, Megan, listen, I got to say this. I mean, if I'm responsible at all for any of this, I mean, I'm really sorry. All right, I just hope it isn't serious. It is serious, Lucky. It's serious. Well, I don't know what to say. You could say good night, Luck. Good night. So, are we all a lot calmer now? No. Look, I really appreciate what you and Tina are trying to do. But it's really All right, look, 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 look. I don't think it's going to do anybody any good to talk about this tonight. Why don't you go home, get some rest, and then in the morning, try to talk it out. Try to work things out. Why are you shaking your head, Megan? Because I guarantee you, we'll go home and we'll just start arguing. You don't expect me to spend the night with her, do you? Don't call me her. Him? Yeah. I'm gonna go. Good night, Jake. I'm not gonna be spending the night in our house tonight with you. Megan, wait a second. Wait a second, Megan. How the hell can you get so close to getting married and then blow the whole thing out of the water like that? Found a way to bring Renee to me? No, I haven't. I want it done. I must see Renee tonight. I can't think of any way to bring her here. It's impossible, Carlo. I don't accept the word impossible. Do you understand? Uh, Leanne, help me pick up, will you, honey? That's all right, Duane. The housekeeper will take care of it in the morning. Well, but little Al may come running through. You're right. You better clean it up. Now, what is on your mind, sweetheart? Uh, well. You want to tell me something about Max? Yeah, yes, darling. I, I, I wanted to tell you how touched I was when it, Max said that he and Al were going to take the Buchanan name. It, it was a lovely moment. I'm still riding high from it. Well, don't ride too high. I mean, you're not quite yourself yet. Oh, just a little tired. Too much champagne. Hey, well, come on upstairs. Why don't you come up, take a nap, and uh, I'll send a dinner trade up. And if you don't want that, Take a nap, come downstairs and have supper later. I'll decide that when I wake up. Ah, oh, Renee, Clint is out of the woods. I have my new son, my new grandson. You know a funny thing? What? There's a lot of people very envious of me because of my money. You know what my real wealth is? You, my family, my sons. Now that is being rich. <laughs> you conniving thief. Don't you call me names. I'll call you anything. I damn well like. You're rough. But like I told you, I'm a street fighter. I can be pretty tough myself. I'm keeping score. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm keeping score of everything I've had to do because of you. I gave you money, I had to sell a piece of jewelry, and now, worst of all, I'm lying to the man that I love more than life itself. I'm going to get rid of you, Duane, and I don't care what it takes to do it. Look, what is not impossible for you is impossible for other people. 
Now, there is no way to get Renee to come out of her house at this time of night. If you'll stop protesting and start thinking, you'll uh, come up with a way to bring her to Tomorrow me. would be easier. I must see Renee tonight. Well, I can't think how. Renee is now the keeper of an important secret. Don't you think you can use that angle to uh, bring her out? Oh, I do. Perhaps, perhaps. Ah, good. Now you're putting your mind to it. God knows this secret is important to Gabrielle. As well as your grandson, Al? Yes, Carlo, yes, we all know that. You want to protect his inheritance, don't you, Julia? Uh, yes. And it'll be a very big inheritance as long as Asa continues to think that his uh, grandson is a Buchanan. I'm sure it's the most important thing on Gabrielle's mind these days. Yes, it is. Renee now knows that Max is not Asa's son. Therefore, Al is no longer a Buchanan either. Don't you think carrying around a secret like this motivates old Renee's every move now? Huh? Wait a minute. That's it. I have thought of a way to get Renee to come here tonight. Listen, Gabrielle decided finally that she's going to allow Al to take the Buchanan name. Now, Renee would want to know that, wouldn't she? Yes. There, you see? Nothing is impossible for you either. Well done. Now, there's a telephone. Call her. Right. No, wait, wait, wait. Wait, D don't, don't have her come to the hotel. Uh, make it, uh, make it, make it, make it, make it. The water side in. I don't know, Mama. Mrs. Buchanan seemed awfully mad. Now she gets annoyed whenever anyone breaks any of her precious possessions. Yeah, no, it was just, it was just a vase. Oh, honey, you don't know what rich, rich people are like. They keep score down to the last penny. Mama, I don't know now. Now, I know Mrs. Buchanan. I just don't think she's like that. I can't imagine that she would want to fire you just because you, you broke her vase. Well, honey, what did you hear when, when you were coming in? Just something about th that she was going to try and get rid of you no matter what it took. Well, there you are. Let's get out of here before she gets back. Aha, I was right. Hello? Hello, Renee. Yes? Renee, it's Julia. Julia, yes. Uh, Renee, I, I, I have a very important message for you from Gabrielle. And if you want smooth sailing for Max and Al, then I suggest that you meet me as soon as possible at the Waterside Inn. Well, Julia, if it's terribly important, why don't you come to the mansion in the morning? I'll be here. No, no, no. I can't do that. Every time I come there, Asa has me thrown out. I won't go through that anymore, Renee. I understand. And this is really important. Oh, yes. Very, very. All right, I'll, I'll be there shortly. Oh, good. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. Well? She's agreed to come. Now I just have to think up a story elaborate enough to justify what I said. You'll think of something. Why is it every time I meet you, Carlo? I wish I hadn't. Jake, I'm worried about you, man. Yeah, why is that? Why? Because this thing tonight got way out of hand. Well, you should tell Megan that. Well, I think maybe Tina's probably telling her that right now. You know, um, maybe it's better that this, that this thing got out of hand tonight. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, Megan, you know. I don't think I can live up to what she wants me oh, to be. Come on, man. No, you seriously. Know. She she wants too much of me. I She wants me to be perfect. And I don't know if you've realized this, but I am far from perfect, Cord. Drink your tea, Jake. Everything will look better after no. you do. Wanda, I don't think so. I don't think anything can make me feel better tonight. Since Jake and I first met, we've had so many crises in our lives. We, have, we just haven't spent much time together under normal conditions, you know? 
Where no matter how badly we behaved, there was always a crisis to blame it on. And now in the cold light of day, it's... Well, it's obvious that Jake is... He's just unhappy with me. Megan, I don't agree. No, oh, it's true. He does a good job of hiding it, but... I know, I, I can tell. It's been brewing for weeks, and... It's only getting... It's only gonna get worse when we get married. It's, it's just hopeless. No, it's not hopeless. Honey, think about... Think about Court and I. I mean, we... We got back to each other, and, and believe me, our relationship now is better than I ever thought that it could be. Tina, you and Cord are very different from me. Okay, just do me one favor, all right? What? Just promise me that you won't make a decision tonight. Just wait until you get a good night's sleep, okay? Look, Jake and I have already made our decision. Honey, sleep well. Ah, well, that's a nice surprise. Tell me, how did the rest of the party go, huh? Great. How's Clint? Well, he's feeling much better. He's still determined he's going to dance at your wedding. Yeah. If there is a wedding... Megan. Cassie, what are you doing here? Looking for my mother. Yeah, yeah, so am I. You've seen the intruder, of course. Pretty horrible story she did on you. She's vengeful. I wish... Oh, what's the use of wishing? Huh? You know what? She's just trying to get even with me, you know, for coming down so hard on her yesterday. But all of this, everything in here, this is yeah. all a lie. She implies in this that, that Alex really didn't try all that hard when we were searching for Sarah. She also says that Alex and I are having a, an affair. Both lies, both untrue. The truth is, Alex damn near got killed at the airport trying to stop the airplane that Sarah died on. It. Damn. I'm so ashamed of my mother. But I, I don't mean to hit you with all this, Cassie. I'm really sorry. Well, I know already what she's done. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. I mean, she's gone beyond what any decent journalist would do. Why do you think I want to see her? Look, maybe it's a good idea if you're not involved in all this. <sighs> How can I not be involved? Dorian is my mother. Yeah, but you're not responsible for her. Everybody knows that. You always take responsibility for what a parent does. No, but not... You can't be responsible when it's Dorian. Nobody could be... No, hey, Dorian, where are you going? Come here. This party tonight was a major disaster for me, Court. All right, look, so what? So Megan found out about Binky. She blew off a little steam. It's no big deal, Jake. It's not just the party court. It is everything, everything that's going on. Listen, I, I know it's natural for a man to get a little nervous before his wedding day. I, I think that kind of thing happens to everybody. I mean, maybe Megan was affected by that kind of thing, too. I, I'm not saying she was, but it could have something to do with what was going on here tonight. I don't know if you realize this, but... Money is a, or lack of money, is a major problem in our relationship. And you've got to be the major breadwinner in the family. Yeah, I would like to be. And I don't believe Megan when she tells me that it's not important to her. Have you tried believe her? Oh, I have made some big mistakes lately. I moved into the house. I didn't tell her about it. It's everything. Megan wants to have kids, too, you know? And you don't. No, I do. I do. That's not the point. The point is... You... You want... How do you act like a father? You just do it, Jake. Look, you get married, your wife gets pregnant, you have a kid, and boom, you're a father. That's the way it goes. It all happens naturally. Yeah, you love your kid, you want to protect it, you want to take care of it. But basically, that's it. I mean, it's more complicated than that, but those are the basics. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to handle that. I, to think that you got this living thing Jake, that you're Jake, responsible. Hey, I guarantee you, when the time comes, you will be ready for it. Don't you ever get cold sweats just thinking about having Being a that? parent means that you get cold sweats every day. It goes along with the territory, man. I uh, left home when I was really young. You know, I was just a kid. And, I don't know what it's like 
family life, and, and I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. So you'll learn it. That's all. Listen, every family is different. There are no set rules. You follow your instincts. You learn what's right and what's wrong. Now, if your family is happy, then fine. Everything is great. But if your family's unhappy, then you realize you got to mix in it a little bit. You've got to try to fix it up. I'm thinking that Megan and I were kidding each other. I mean, this, this wedding is a big mistake. It was never meant to be. Anyway. Yeah. Becky. Hey, Vic. Yep, Vicky. Megan, what did you do this for? Oh, man. What? What did you involve her? I mean, your mother's got enough trouble right now. When are you going to stop criticizing everything I do? Right now. I mean, no, 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 Jake. Please, 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 Jake. Please come, come here. Stay here, all right? Now, not one word out of either one of you for just a few minutes. I just want you to sit and listen to me. Understand? This is really this is, pointless. It's like, I Please, I ask you not to say anything just for a few minutes, okay? Please just sit down and listen. Okay, don't sit down. I don't care if you sit down, but I am going to be heard. Don't worry, I am not about to ask you to kiss and make up tonight, got it? Yes, yes Good. but I... No buts, please. Okay. Thank you. If you do want to stay, that's fine. No comments, please. Twice tonight, I've heard that this is hopeless. But you two love each other. And where there is love, there is always hope. Yeah, but... Megan, please! Okay, I'm listening. Hey, listen. I know you've put a lot of money out for this wedding, Vicky. And believe me, if it takes the rest of my life, I will... I'll pay you back. You feel pressure from the family? Yeah. There's no pressure from this family. It's all in your mind, Jake. No one is going to be angry if you decide to call off the wedding. So knock it off and stop interrupting me. All right, I'm sorry. Don't even say sorry until I'm finished. Hey, guys, we've all been through a lot together, and I have seen how hard you two have fought to stay together. And I know perfectly well that you are both smart enough and strong enough to pick and choose what is important in your lives, what's really important. Jake, you and money, money, money. I mean, money's real nice to have. If you don't have it, or if you have it and then lose it, what you're left with becomes that much more precious. I know what you're thinking. What does she know, right? Well, well Clint and I are going to have something to say about that in the future. Megan, darling, I know how it feels when you think that the person you love wants to get out of a relationship. It just happened to me. For one awful moment, I thought that Clint was having an affair with Sandra Hall. All right, say it had been true. Would I have had the brains to fight for him. I hope and pray to God I would have had the sense to do that. Life throws some hard punches, but you two are strong enough to take them. Really, you are. Death and taxes, that's the only thing you can't fight. Other than that, everybody's got a chance. Please don't blow it, please. That's all I have to say. You can fill in the gaps. Cord, would you and Tina please take Megan home to land me? Yes. Thank you very much. And Jake, you go home. Too. <coughs> Ready, Megan? Yeah. I hope neither one of you gets any sleep tonight. This is a night for thinking. Ooh. Wanda, how are you? <laughs> wow. That made a lot of sense. Thank you. <laughs> when was the last time you had something to eat? 1984. <laughs> How about a nice cheeseburger? Yeah. Uh, with everything. With everything. Fries. Fries, you got it. Julia. Renee. What, what about Al and Max? Oh, please, won't you sit down? Oh, all right, thank you. What is it? Right. Well, this message is for you and for all the Buchanans. Gabrielle has agreed that should Max decide to change his name to Buchanan... Oh, he's already to... done that. Changed his name to Buchanan? Yes. Oh, my goodness, I'm so surprised. Why? Well, that he should do it so quickly. But why wouldn't he? 
Well, just that I know in the beginning there was conflict between he and Asa, so oh, I... That has ended. Oh. And they're good friends now. Yes. Now, Gabrielle, what, what about it? Well, she consulted her lawyer, and he's assured her that the name change will in no way affect her legal status as Elle's mother. Well, I never thought that it would. Right. So, now that that's been established, she's agreed to change Elle's name to Buchanan. Of course, she would want custody of him as soon as she gets out of prison. But that's not any time soon, is it? Well, one never knows. No. Oh. That's it? Yes. You called me all the way out here just to tell me that. But now, I, I felt it was important. You could have told me on the phone, you know. All right, I'll tell Max. Thank you. And Renee, thank you so much for coming. Carlo. Renee, how nice to see you. Good night, Carlo. Wouldn't you like to have your beautiful brooch back? You have no right to barge in here. I have a right, though, don't I, Mother? Well, yes, you do, of course, darling. But don't confuse the issue. I am talking to Bo. And if you don't get out immediately, I'm going to call the desk. I doubt that the Buchanan Hotel would throw a Buchanan out. Why are you so afraid, Dorian? Huh? You scared that uh, all the filthy lies that you like to print on the front of what you call a newspaper? You afraid they might just send me right over the edge? No. No, I am not. And don't you even think about suing me for libel. Because my attorneys checked out that piece before it even went to press, so there's no way you can sue. Why are you even talking about libel? Don't you take one step toward me. You really are scared, aren't you? Oh, I don't think you would dare attack me in front of my daughter. No, no. I wouldn't even think of suing you for libel. That's much too calm. See, I want blood. And you wasted a lot of money having attorneys even look at this. I'll tell you what it is. It's vicious innuendo. And you're vicious, Dorian. You gotta be stopped. I am sick and tired of being browbeaten by the Buchanans, and that includes Vicky. Mother! No, no, you stay out of this. I don't want you here when I call the police. Oh, the hell with calling the desk! Mother, don't I do that! Stay out of this! How can I stay out of it? I read the intruder, too. I can't believe you're trying to expose Bo's private life on the front page, especially when there's nothing to expose. He's right. Filthy innuendo is all it was. What are you after, Mother? People's throats. First there was a strike, and now these false assumptions about Sarah's death. When does it all end? Cassie? Cassie, I would like you to leave. This is between Bo and me. And I might add, I am not happy about you taking his side. I'm not going. Why are you trying to come between me and my daughter? <laughs> mm. You like that? It's fantastic. That's fresh cherry pie. You're kidding. No. You're incredible. I didn't even realize I was as hungry as I am. Uh, when was the last time that you had something to eat today? Um, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> you realize that you're not being very good to yourself. You know that, don't you? Hey, I got Clint back. That's all that matters. Okay, okay I cannot fight with that. Hmm? I have never known two people to be so in love as you and Clint, so forget all the logic. Well, good night's sleep and I'll start to make sense again. No, no, no. You made perfect sense over there with Megan and with Jake. I could wring their necks. I could shake them, really. It's such a pitfall, though, isn't it, to try to make over the people that you love, rather than just let them be what they are, what, they, what you fell in love with in the first place, right? And you really have to trust love. You can't constantly question it. You'll never weather the storms that way. Don't I know that. Do you still miss Finney? Guess I always will. <laughs> No, it's funny. He used to, uh, he used to have this aftershave lotion. He used to slap it on his face all the time. And I'll tell you something. To this day, I get a whiff of that stuff, and I still, like, a weak in the knees. Well, someday, some very bright fella is going to find that out and know that that's the way to get to you. Well, it's going to take a little more than aftershave lotion, if you don't mind. <laughs> Not a bad opener, huh? Well, it's such a funny thing about memories, though, isn't it? Mm. Sometimes they are just... Clear as a bell. The whole time Clint was in surgery, I had memories like that. All kinds of wonderful pictures of our life together. Ain't that grand? Ain't it? <laughs> you, you got the best. Mm -hmm. And I, I had the best. Okay, what about the future? 
What about it? Well, is there a man in the future? Well, how would I know that? <laughs> you're dodging. What does that mean? It means you could have said yes and you could have said no. So you're dodging. <laughs> okay, okay. There's somebody that, uh... He comes around a lot. Who? Is he? Is it Dr. Kaminsky? Oh, he's a good guy. In fact, he's been a wonderful friend to Clint and to me and to you. Well, we're not exactly kids, you know. Oh, come on. What has age got to do with it? That's the marvelous thing about love. It can happen to anyone at any time. Yeah, no, no. I just, it was, it's, it's not that serious. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I'm ready to be, to get involved yet. Now it's just, it's just kind of touch and go. Mm. What was the name of that aftershave that Vinnie used? Swagger. But please, I beg you, for heaven's sake, don't tell that to Izzy. Why not? It could take the go out of the touch. I will let you know when I'm ready to touch and to go, okay? Sure. Okay, now you just go. Get out of here. Go get yourself some rest. I'm tired, but I don't think I can sleep. You're not going to go back to the hospital, are you? No, Clint's asleep. I'm not going to disturb him. You worried about Megan? Sure, I'm Jake. Yeah, but you gave them very, very good advice. Oh, Wanda, that's easy. The hard part is to take it. And all I can talk about is Clint and me. They can't be Clint and me. They have to find their own way back to each other. But I, I guess I think they will. Yeah. Well, you were here for everything tonight, weren't you? Yes, I was. Was it very bad? Did they, did they really hurt each other? I hope not. But only time can tell. Right now, tonight, right now, you go home and you get yourself some sleep. Yeah. I'll read the papers. That'll put me to sleep. Oh, yes. The intruder. That will do it for sure. Dorian? Mm hmm About Bo. Mean, nasty. Well, Bo can handle Dorian. Bless you. I am not trying to come between you and your daughter. Your relationship is your business and Cassie's. Cass, listen, maybe you shouldn't be here for this. No. The last time you two had a fight, you threw me out. This time I'm staying until I want to go, Cassie. Which may be soon if I have to keep listening to justifications from you. All right. All right, fine. Stay and you can hear this bully in action. Actually, I'm very glad you're staying because I don't want to be left in a room alone with him when he starts his Buchanan rage. They're all alike. Vicky doesn't have a civil word oh, for anyone. Dorian! Don't you come near me! He didn't come near no, me! I wouldn't want to come then near you. Then leave! Hey, I can't wait to get out of here, Dorian, but first I got something I want to say. Oh, now starts the verbal abuse. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't waste my time. You got too thick a hide. <laughs> Why don't you just stop? Snide, all the Buchanans are snide. Why don't you just stop and listen? To what? I think I got something that might get your attention. I can't imagine what that would be. I'd be happy to tell you. Why would I want to know what an uninvited guest has to say? Because I want to play it dirty, just like you do. I don't know what you mean. Well, I'll tell you. Look, I don't care what you say or write about me. I mean, it'll just roll right off my back. The Buchanans are used to all the dirt that you like to sling around. I will not have you go after an innocent woman like Alex. I'm not going to let you just drag her good name right through the mud. So here's what I'm going to do. Oh, well, you're certainly not going to sue me. Oh, no, I wouldn't waste my time. Besides, you said it'd be pointless. You've had all these attorneys checking every single little word. Yes, yes, I have. And I mean, going to court, too, much too clean. See, I want to play it dirty. I am going to take out a full-page ad in the banner. I'm going to have your picture here. I'm going to have Leonard Vitson's picture right here, side by side. Do you want to hear more, Dorian? Underneath, I'm going to put the question, what? is the connection between these two people. Oh, well, I already told you he was my temporary chauffeur. Yeah, but I'm gonna include the fact that the police are looking for Vincent right now in connection with a shooting at Asa Buchanan's house in which Asa Buchanan suffered a seizure, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can't do that. Well, Mother... No, I, I'm gonna do a whole lot more than just that. I mean, I'm gonna have my attorneys check out every single little word, too. You are going to link me with a possible shooting? I'm also going to say that you're giving this Vincent $1,000 a week. Now, that's got to make this guy one of the highest paid chauffeurs in this whole country. Is he right, Mother? Is he getting to the truth now? Yes, it is the truth. Right, Dorian? I'm calling Dad. What? what? 
And not because he's my father, but because he's a lawyer. And don't try to stop me. And as long as I'm taking out a full-page ad, I'm going to include every nasty little tidbit about your vendetta against the Buchanan family. I'm going to let this whole city know that when Clint's on death's door, you're trying to buy the banner right out from under him. It was perfectly legitimate. No, and the whole family's in shock because Cord's been hurt. And you turn around and you try to pin the blame on Clint, who's right there at his bedside worried about him. There's nothing too low or too dirty that you wouldn't put it in here. It's coming right back at you, Dorian. Kathy, help me! Oh, Kathy! Just leave her out of this, no! will you? yours, Renee. No question. Where did you get this? Well, you sold it. I had to pay a little more than uh, what you sold it for. How did you... <laughs> How did I uh, know where you sold it? If you're having me followed, Carlo, I deeply resent it. <laughs> or maybe... Or maybe what? Maybe you're... Talking to someone at my house? You have a loyal staff, don't you? Yes. Julia. Not with her knowledge, no. She was the only person who knew that I was coming No, she there. wasn't. I overheard her calling you at the Buchanan Palace Hotel. I wanted to see you. So I decided to have a quiet little dinner here alone tonight. Sometimes you make things very difficult for me. Renee. I can see so many questions going through your mind. Yes. Why don't you ask them? For several reasons. I don't think I will ever be able to wear this piece of jewelry again. Now, don't look so sad, Renee. No, I don't think it pains me. That doesn't bother me at all. You're in trouble, Renee. Let me help. Why do uh, you think that I'm in trouble? No, I want to help you. How much do you know? Look, I'll do anything for you. I'll protect you if you'll let me. You said that you would answer my questions. You haven't answered Renee, one Renee, question. Renee, Renee, it's, Renee. It's some simple deduction. The brooch. You need money. You don't want Asa to know about it. I don't want him to be upset about anything right now. Of course, please. Keep going. Confide in me. You're not a man to trust, Carlo. I am where you're concerned. I can't even trust that. You know how I feel about you. And you know how I feel about you. So, there's an end, yes? But you can do me one favor. Anything? What is it? Stay out of my affairs. You are so alone. I can handle the situation. Tell me, Carla, what is it in all of this that really interests you? I've told you. Why are you looking at me that way? I might very well ask the same of you. This has to stop, Carlo. Oh, I can't control the way I look at you. Please, Carlo. Go away, far away, and give us all the rest. It doesn't fit in with the goals I've set for myself. Becoming a respected person in Latin view? Yes. But also to show you I'm a man you can trust and respect. And love. Don't do that for me, Carlo. There's only one man in my life, only one man that I will ever love, and that is my husband. So stay out of my life. Oh, your feelings will change.
Meg? 